Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Hello, boys and girls. You know, it seems we're all afflicted with the disease known as curiosity. Have you ever passed by a cardboard carton that was closed or uh, half-closed? What did you do, huh? Pass by it? <laughs> of course not. You've just got to stop and see what's inside. Well, what did you find? The box was full of emptiness, wasn't it? What are we looking for? The proverbial pot of gold or something else of similar fantasy? Well, I don't know what makes us so curious, but I am anxious to take a peek into our story today. It's called The Locked Bag. Boy, the saddle sure is getting hard. I'll say it is, Henry. I've been riding for almost six hours now. Not a break, except to walk the horses, give them a few minutes rest. What do you say we stop in and see Miles the Snake Man? Okay. <laughs> you like to visit the snake farm, don't you? Well, sort of yes, sort of no. <laughs> That's beautifully said. Uh, what? Uh, where did you say you uh, went to school? <laughs> That's homemade. <laughs> That snake farm does intrigue me, but it makes a nervous wreck out of me at the same time. Yeah, I know what you mean, pal. I uh, don't feel comfortable either with all those poisonous snakes around me. But Miles saves many lives each year by milking those killers, so their venom can be made into an anti-venom serum. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing, I guess. I think I'd still rather milk cows than snakes. <laughs> Any time, pal. <laughs> Any time. Boy, I'm getting chills up and down my spine already. We're still a mile away from the farm. Well, we can keep right on into town if you'd like. Oh, no. That's all right. I'll unchill as, as soon as we leave there. Nice to see you fellas. Thanks, Miles. We were just passing close by. Thought we'd stop in and say hello. Well, I'm glad you did. Hey, uh, what's the automatically locking steel door? You didn't have that the last time we were here. That's right, I didn't. Fellas, that's Killer's Row behind that door. Mm -hmm. Killer's Row? <laughs> Aren't they all? Are these some super special jobs? <laughs> yeah, you said it, Henry. <laughs> I built a new snake house and moved the rattlers, copperheads, and moccasins into it. Along with some of the other lesser killers. Uh -huh. This one now houses the deadliest snakes in the world. <laughs> For instance? King Cobras? Yes. You've got them here? Several. One more being shipped in right now. Mm. Well, let's get out of here. I thought rangers live dangerously. But this guy is danger hungry or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind him, Miles. He's the uh, nervous type. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> um... What else have you got behind the fire door? Well, let's take a look. I'll give you an all-expense-paid tour. How's okay. that? Okay. <laughs> Boy, generous soul, isn't he? Uh, do you take this off your income tax? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, pal. Oh, no. I don't want to have to fall over you in case my feet decide to get out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, uh, take no chances with that door, do you, Miles? Nope. We can't take the risk of an escape. This building is now fireproof, except for the roof. Mm -hmm. You see those jets sticking out of the door wall near the ceiling? Yeah. What are they for? Cyanide gas. 
Mm. Oh, you don't fool around, do you? Do you think one of these snakes would if he got loose? Sprinkler system, too, huh? Yes. I've never heard of a completely fireproof building yet. These snakes are expensive, you know. Well, I wouldn't hesitate to kill them if they were escaping. I don't want to lose them unnecessarily. Now, fellas, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. King Cobra. He's 12 feet long. Look at that. Look at the size of him. Can he see us? No, one-way glass. Now over here, Mr. Bushmaster. Uh, I'd rather not uh, meet him, if you don't mind. Oh. <laughs> this rascal and the cobra chase their victim, don't they, Miles? Oh, you know it. These are real bad fellas. Boy, see, that's a, that's a fur de lance, isn't it? Right. He's another tough hombre. Then I've got a dozen more in here that have been brought in from all over the world. And their poison is extremely potent. There isn't any anti-venom for all of these high-powered killers, is there? That's right. But active research is being done along that line. Uh-huh. Can we leave now? My feet keep looking at the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we can leave. I think Peg's got some coffee on for us. Let's go have some. Good. Uh, Miles, how can you be so calm around these snakes? Well, a fella gets used to it. I enjoy the work. But I can tell you one thing for sure. Yeah, go ahead. A fella makes only one mistake in this business. And only one mistake. <laughs> Feel better now, pal? Oh, yeah, much, much better, thank you. Good coffee. <laughs> you uh, keeping pretty busy, Miles? Yeah, I'll say we are. I've got three expert herpetologists working with me. Three, huh? You know, I remember when you started out all by your lonesome. Yeah, so do I. I had one snake with two fangs. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to mosey along, Miles. I want to get back to town before dark. Yeah, the horses have had a good rest now. We ought to be able to step right along. Mm -hmm. Okay, fellas. Thanks for stopping by. Sure appreciate seeing you again. Likewise the same, Miles. Right. I never held it against you that you're a snake charmer. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could charm those killers when I milked them. You know, one full injection of that venom from a king cobra is so deadly it can kill 500 men. Uh, Gray Wolf. Yes, Bill. We've got to have the new boundary surveys ready within ten days. Submit them to Colonel Anders. Uh, will you see to it that it gets done? Uh-huh. I have it ready in time. Thanks. Well, old-timer, what are you doing? Uh, I'm working. <laughs> doing what? Uh, reading this here uh, mail-order catalog. Gonna buy something? If I had some money, I would. Everything nowadays costs money. Pretty soon they'll put a meter around my nose to charge me for the air Yo! I breathe. Boy, what? that was a close one. What are you talking about, Henry? <laughs> it's, it's Miles. Why, he's heading here like a jet. He almost hit a car making the corner. You mean Miles the snake farmer? Yeah, sure do. Here he is. <laughs> Miles, what's wrong? You're white as a sheet. C -c 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 Cobra. Here, sit down. Take it easy now, before you have a stroke. I'll get some commandant medicine, Bill. He's almost struck dumb with fever. It sounded like he said cobra. Miles, you try to quiet down so you can tell a story. Or we not be able to help you very much. Here, young feller. Here, take this pill and, and water pronto. Looks like you're burning up. Here, here, relax you. Take some of the fear out of you so you can make some sense. Bill, something terrible has happened, or he wouldn't be so all fired riled up. And you talk now, Miles? Yes. I've relaxed some. Thanks for the pill, Stumpy. Uh, don't mention it. Now, tell us what happened. Remember yesterday, Bill, I mentioned that I was coming into town this morning to pick up a shipment of snakes, mm -hmm. particularly a cobra. A king cobra. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, so do I. 
Uh, what about the shipment? Well, it arrived okay, and I put the bags, two of them, in the cab of the truck with me. Uh huh. But but now there's only one bag of snakes. Miles, you mean the bag with the cobra in it is gone? Yeah, that's right. Three horned toad, Sonny. Maybe you didn't put it in the truck like you thought. I did put it in the cab. I know I did, but it's not there now. The bag slide under seat. Say, I never thought of that. Let's take a look. Oh, it's not under the seat. Now that I think of it, I doubt that it could have slid under the recess. But but where is it? Look, look, Miles. Just calm down, will you? Yeah, but... We, we've got to piece your movements together. And blowing your top isn't going to help at all. Now, did the other bag look like this one? Yes. A zipper and lock on it? Yes. These bags are my own invention. I ship them to the supplier, and he puts the snakes in the bags. And then the bag in a slatted crate. Mm -hmm. This cloth is tough and strong and porous so the reptiles can breathe. But they can't bite anyone or get out. You took the bags out of the crate when they were removed from the train, right? Yes. So I can check the locks and the bags. Then I put them inside the cab and drive with the windows open so the creatures can get some fresh air. Mm -hmm. Why? Isn't that kind of dangerous for you? No. I want those babies right where I can see them until I get them home. Who has the keys to the locks on the band? Only the supplier and I have them. Well, that's some help. The uh, lock looks strong. i sure anybody at pick up sack could feel Snake move inside. Maybe, Grey Wolf. They're tight and tightly confined in there. They're given a sedative and coiled tightly with the head in the center. It slid into the bag. It's a pretty snug fit. Mm -hmm. uh, Stumpy, Grey Wolf, you fellas take this sack into the office and guard it. Henry and I will take Miles back over the route from the station and see what we can find. Uh, we do. Well, what kind of snake you have in this bag, Miles? Well, there's two in that one. An African cobra and a broom slang. Uh, ain't that broom slang the vomit that bit and killed their professor a while back? Yes. Come on, fellas. Let's get with this thing on the double. <laughs> Hey, Midge, wonder what's in that sack there by the curb. I don't know, Pinky. Let's have a look. Sure. Hmm. Well, what kind of a sack do you suppose that is? I don't know. Money sack, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Huh. It's got a zipper across one end and a lock on it. Let's lift it. Sure. Hmm. It ain't money. It don't rattle when you shake it. Could be paper money, huh? Yeah. Boys... A pinky, Midge. Hey, Dad's calling us. We better get going. Hey, wait, let's take the sack. Maybe we can bust the lock and find out what's inside. Uh, let's get this uh, sack of snakes inside before it uh, disappears, too. Uh, uh, pick it up, Ray Wolf. Well, why, you're not picking up, old timer. Are you afraid? Who, me? Afraid to pick it up? Why not talk about your brother? I ain't got no brother. And that's what I mean. You pick it up and carry it to office. Nope. I'm the senior man here now, and I'm ordering you to carry that snake sack inside. Senior man should set good example for younger men. Show courage and bravery. I not know how to carry sack. You show me. You men with long experience. I learned much from you. Are you going to let an old run-down bag of bones like me carry that big heavy sack? Say, where's your kindness and courtesy to your elders? Sack not heavy and not big. Last time I say you old, you ready to scalp me plenty quick. <laughs> Maybe so, but I suddenly can feel old age just rushing over me. I still think you're afraid to pick up sack. <laughs> You can say that again, Sonny. I am afraid, and so are you. Man, oh man, what could have happened to that cobra? That's a good question. We've been over your route twice. 
and everything's negative. Yeah, especially my head. Miles, try to relax, will you? Think this thing out. Something happened that caused this act to leave the truck. Yes, but what? Well, why don't we try it once more? At least it's better than sitting here doing nothing. Oh, good idea, pal. Miles, you think, and Henry and I'll drive the route again. Perhaps something will jar your memory loose of its precious secret. Did you call us, Dan? Now, who else do you think I'd be calling, young fella? Where are you going? To Junction City. Do you guys want to come along? Sure. Will you buy us something? Well, we'll consider it. Well, jump in if you're going. Okay. Hey, what's, uh, what's in the sack? I don't know. We found it in the street. Well, leave it here. What do you want to take that along for? We want to get it open and find out what's inside, Dad. Leave it here, I said. Aw, oh, Dad. It'll keep us busy in the car, and then we won't fight or something. Yeah. Can we take it, please? Oh, all right, but, but get in. I've got things to do in Junction City. Now, you fellas, uh, sit in the back seat and behave yourselves. Okay. We want to get the sack open and find out what's in it. You don't suppose someone stole the sack, do you, Miles? Impossible. I've never let a sack full of snakes out of my sight. Not even for a minute. Well, I'll turn around. We'll try it once again. Boy, I hope it works this time. Yeah! Oh, grab him, Miles! Grab him! I'll stop the truck! Got him! <laughs> Thanks. Say, what's the matter with the lock on this door? Does it hold all the time? I almost fell in the street. That's it! That's when it happened. Hmm? It's gotta be. What are you talking about? This very thing happened to me as I came around the curve at Johnson and Lane Street. Yeah? The door flew open and I reached over to grab it, but at the same time there was a car coming into the intersection. Uh huh? I must have knocked a bag out then. Well, if you did, where is it? We've searched the gutters and the street and the lawns. There, there's no snake bag. Someone's picked up that bag. <laughs> Henry, you take the other side of the street and inquire at every house if anyone saw that bag being picked up. Right. Let me help, too. Uh, no offense, meant Miles, but uh, you're just too jumpy to help right now. You might give it away, you know, if you ran into someone who saw the bag being picked up. Yeah, I guess you're right, Bill. If it got out about the Cobra, this town would be in an awful uproar. You can say that again. Well, let's get to work, pal. Now, don't give any secrets away. If you make a contact, come back quietly to the truck and honk the horn two times. And I'll do the same. You got it? Got it. Good boy. Now, let's get with it. Think you can twist the lock loose, Pinky? Yeah, yeah. This part of the zipper looks like, like they twist it and bust it open. Hey, what's that funny goopy smell? Oh, who cares? Open the window if it bothers you. I am. Now don't open the window too wide, son. I won't, Dad. You boys are sure behaving yourselves. I'll remember that when we get to Junction City. It's it's coming off. I I just gotta keep twisting. Lots and lots. You found out something, Bill? Yes, I found out where the bag is. Where? In a car on the way to Junction City. Two boys and their dad are driving there. Oh, oh no. God help them if they get that bag open. There, that'll get Henry here. Now, Miles, take it easy. Maybe they won't get the bag open. I hope they don't. I hope... Did they... you find it? Yeah. Wonderful. Where is it? Jump in. I'll tell you on the way. Way where? Canyon City. Come on. We've got to get back to the office and get a radio car and then cover some ground. Did 
Did you get it? Yeah. Well, slide the zipper open. Sure. What is in there sure smells funny. Hey, hey, look. What is it? It looks like a, some kind of a, a snake skin. It's a real one. Sure it's real. Can't you smell that? It's got to be a skin. I no snake can smell like that and be alive. What if it is alive? Ah, oh, no. Maybe we ought to ask Dad. Oh, it's only a dead snake or a skin. Let's dump it out on the floor. Yeah. It's it's a whole snake. Looks dead too. You said it was dead. No, it ain't. It's moving. Yeah, Dad. Dad. What's wrong? Can't you break the lock? We did. It's a snake. A snake. Now, what in the name of common sense have you got yourselves into? It. It's a bad snake, Dad. Well, just a minute. Now look. We can't stop here on this curve. Now, don't you boys move a muscle, and, and the snake won't bother you. What? Why? It's a king cobra. Don't you move an eyelash. It looks like it's heading for the shelf over the back seat. Now, don't move. Don't move for any reason, and I'll keep driving. There's there's no help out here in the mountains. Now, Dad will think of something, but. Don't move whatever you do. Oh, boy, we sure drew soft duty on this patrol, didn't we, Tom? <laughs> soft is right. You know something, Ned? I think we're getting soft. You're in this squad car watching for runaway trucks. Give me the fire tower any time to this. <laughs> you said it. At least we get exercise climbing the tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, wake me up if anything exciting happens, will you? <laughs> sure, okay. Uh, what's the matter? Is he a rock move or something? Uh -huh. That car. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Well, what car? There, there, down the road there. See that? That one. Hey, that guy's either drunk or crazy. Uh, I'll say. So that's no way to drive down a mountain road. Let's nail him. All right. Hey, that guy's really got his trolleys crossed. Now he's slowed uh, down to a crawl. I must have heard us all right. He's not weaving. Hey, look out! Good night. Did you see how close he came to scraping those rocks? Uh, there's something radically wrong with that driver. Tom! Look at that back window! There's a live snake on the shelf. It looks like a... It is! It's a cobra! Uh, there are two boys in that back seat. I can just see the tops of their heads. Call Bill and make it quick! Sam, if you can hear me, flash your tail light by pushing gently on the brake pedal. Don't stop the car. Yeah, there's the signal. Pull alongside, pal. Okay. Ready, Miles? All set. Listen carefully now. I've got an expert snake handler in my car, and he's going to board your car and capture the cobra. Don't you or the boys move a muscle or bat an eyelash. The highway from here to Junction City has been cleared by my men and the sheriff and the state police. So we have a clear road to maneuver. In half a mile, we'll come into the straightaway to Junction City. 
My car will pull alongside your car. The snake expert will board your car while it's in motion by moving from my left rear door into your right front door. You will have to move to the other side of the highway after I finish and we pull clear. Now there aren't any running boards to help the transfer from one car to the other. So you must maintain an exact speed of 20 miles an hour. The snake expert expects no trouble from the cobra because it's sunning itself in your rear window and is comparatively docile at the moment. Now don't make any sudden moves. Don't move at all, even during the transfer from car to car. The snake expert has rigged a snake stick with which he will capture the cobra. Move across the highway as soon as we come into the straightaway. That is all. Ready, Miles? Ready. Oh, climb into the back seat. Time your transfer. Stay in this car until I say go. Right. Okay. Move into position, pal. Yes, sir. Now, Miles. Okay. She doesn't... Don't move, fellas. I'll have him captured pronto. I'm ready now. Whatever you do, boys, don't move until I say so. When I give the word, Sam, stop the car gently and everybody out. Here goes. I've got him. Stop the car. Come on, Miles. You said it. Good work, Miles. Now, what are you going to do with it? Get me a gunny sack. I'll put him in it and take him home. But you won't be able to lock the gunny sack. No, but I think I can tie a knot that won't open as easily as the locked bag did. Whew. I don't know about you, but... I still get duck bumps all over me when I think about that narrow escape. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... <laughs>